Oh my god, the raw improvement from not going through Swiss to going through Swiss. What a feeling. Bandits, Bandits 3-1 on stream was, uh, it was interesting. I think we have a, we have, we have a slight, like, nerves issue where we just, like, play at the speed of light when we're on stream. That Bandit series was messy, man. We <laughs> I'm surprised we scraped through with that, to be honest. Is uh, we were like controlling the game, but they very easily could have stopped choking and just scored about 10 goals. Trey Cardio is funny, cause like we roll these kids in scrims. They shouldn't have. They should not have dropped Remick, man. I I love Ben, but why would you drop Remick for Ben? I don't think he's added any value for that team. It's gonna be it's gonna be raw about it. Not complaining though, cause I get Remick now. But yeah, that that Trey Cardio team. I'm 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 not even sure how we went to game five. Like it should just be a 3-0 every time. We just, we just have the better mental regain, I suppose, and the better game plan when we decide to execute and stop losing our balls. Pioneers is always like, they, they always, they always dangle the win in front of you because it's like, damn, those were close games all at one goal. And then you realize that you were never scoring a goal to begin with. So it's always like a one or two goal game. Maybe give it another split and then we'll, we'll start taking games. But for now, it's, we're still getting ourselves together. Always just, always call it the throw split. This split is the throw split. <laughs> How many times did Lakeshaw get reversed so it was like three times over the weekend? Well, two or three times. Dude, what a what a way to go out. That was that was different. I remember losing the first two games and we're just like, dude, how about we just grow a pair and stop choking? And then we stopped choking and then we took two games and we're like, oh, yeah, I guess we just win now. And then we just won the game five. I don't know, it was pretty anticlimactic in comms. We're just like Time to kick off and score goals, guys. I don't know what else to say. And then we just started winning. So, I don't know, man. Like, show just doesn't have the ice. Yeah, placeholders was probably the most winnable series of all time. I was like, <laughs> that was a disgustingly poor performance from us. It's like everything we practiced for the past two weeks just flew out the window. And then placeholders just had to do nothing and win. It was pretty nuts. What was it like three game winning dunk goals into our net just because we can't hit the ball? That's a that's like the hardest go next series of all time. So the improvement was just actually putting the game plan together. A lot of it has been individual concepts that we've been trying to... It's like it's like putting together like a piece of paper with several scraps of broken paper with sticky tape and glue. It's like you're trying your best to make it look natural, but it's going to take time until it actually comes together properly. But uh, it's going to take a bit more time, I think. Hence why playoffs will fall apart because you're on stream and it's a little bit hectic. I think you get one or two more regionals and we'll be all together. Regional three, throw split. We'll take any result that isn't a Swiss loss. If we if we just make top eight again, and then we like have a decent playoffs performance. That's that's the uh, that's the stepping stone we need. And if we verse placeholders again, that's okay. Is you know Fiber can clip on us and get his montage plays for his next Twitter highlights, and then get stomped in top four again. So it's like yeah, that's cool.